Hello, today I want to explain you a bit of what I learned by analyzing the memory of our uh, game, Plane Shift. And uh, we have actually a character creation which is made of many different screens, like this ones. And these screens are used only at the beginning of the game when you create a new character. But then obviously through the game, you don't, you don't, we don't use them anymore. Right. And also we have nine different races and so every race has its own character creation story uh, made of many screens and so we are loading a lot of the screens um, for each different character. But we also we only want it you know really at the beginning of the game. What I have seen is that our game was keeping these screens and textures in memory at all time. And so I had like 120 megabyte of just random stuff that I that I didn't need, right? And I didn't know why it was staying in memory. So I investigated a bit more and I did some tests with this sample project. It is not our game, it's just a project I created for, uh, for this video. And basically, uh, our project as a, a third person character and as a key that if you press a key is basically creating a widget and displaying it on screen for five seconds and then is removing it, right? So you would expect that if you don't press F, right, uh, this thing is not loaded. Unfortunately, this is not the case. So I can run the project now. I will not press F, do any, anything on that. And I will just uh, run the memory dump, right? If you press the, uh, if you go in console and do mem report, right, which is giving you the information about uh, the memory. And then you go into the directory where uh, the memory report is created which usually is uh, um, under saved profiling uh, and you and you look at it right and we search for let's search exactly for that uh, for that image that we have here in our uh, alien uh, um, history widget which is actually this image right which is called alien scene for one right so if i search that uh alien scene right alien scene for one we see actually that there is a texture uh which actually is pretty big because it's a uh, uh 1.2 megabytes right um that is actually loaded in memory right and now in our project there was way worse because we have like you know 50 plus 70 plus of them right and i did not press f Right. So the problem is that in a real engine, whenever you have something that is hard referenced into a class that is loaded, like our third person character in this case, or if you have any other menu, like in our case, we have a menu at the beginning of the game where you create the character or you directly play with an existing character, there will be a reference to our widget and there will be a create widget node. And so this means that you, we have all, the, all these images loaded at all time. So there are actually two different ways to fix it. I mean, one way is probably the hardest and is the one that I found myself and I was like at the beginning and it was like, okay, how I can do this? And um, I tried many different techniques. I said, okay, I mean, if, if, if this guy doesn't want to have, you know, a hard reference here, what if I put this into a, into a variable, right? And, uh, and actually I did that, but the result is exactly the same. So even if you have a class that is then sent here and in the class you have a reference to your, uh, you know, uh, Ilian history um, widget is loaded anyway in memory, right? Then I said, okay, then maybe let's try with a data table. So I created a data table and I said, uh, I, I put the reference in my data table. So it will not know because I'm actually searching a row, right? With this name. And, and, and from that row, um, I'm getting my, my picture the same, exactly the same. Also in this case, uh, this is considered an art reference and the engine is preloading it. And so you will have it in memory at all time. Uh, and then finally, I found one of the two techniques and I said, no, okay, I'm going to do it differently. I'm going to create a good image list. And in this ima image list, I will not have an art reference to my picture, but I will just have uh, the actual textual reference, right? Like this. So this one is saying texture to the alien scene for one, right? And uh, this one is then... Um, 
uh, is then used and, and by the way the way to generate it is just to right click and do copy reference right and this will give you that that string and then and then uh, in my uh, in my widget then what I do instead of doing this I just call uh, my static loading so this get texture by path right so if you do it like this it finally it finally works uh, I created a blueprint um, function library uh, utility and I can put in the description you know this uh, this code so you can copy actually here I have two things I have the get texture by path which is actually doing the static load object which is which is this code and I also have the mark texture as garbage because I was testing if I could release that texture you know before immediately after the uh, parent widget is um, is removed so in that case um, what I did I went to my to my widget and actually I I removed the picture so there is no art reference not even in the widget right and so you have to leave it actually empty in this first uh, first uh, solution and then here instead of doing this right uh, you, you you will still construct the widget as a uh, as usual but then here you will take your uh, uh, your image right and this image you will use the uh, get uh, texture by path right which is the utility that I, that I told you and here you can do it with a with a get from uh, get row from data table right so you can use them you can use the, the data table that I shown you before. You can put here the name of the row, for example, Ilian one or Diaboli one, whatever it is, right? And this will actually return uh, return your path, right? And yeah, we just need to select the right one. And this will return your path. And from here, you know, uh, this will generate a reference which is completely at runtime, right? Completely on the fly. And a real engine has no way to actually um, to actually preload it, right? Uh, actually, here you will have to uh, to get the brush of this thing, right? And then you will have to set uh, the image, right? Because this actually is, you know, the image is actually here. So you will have on this image to set a brush from texture, right? So, so that so this is just to to show you how it's done. I mean, how it's built, but actually. You, you will have to do right this but you will have to cast it to a 2d texture uh, so cast to texture 2d because actually it requires a texture 2d so just forget the, the part above for a second right so you do that that and this and finally you know this will actually load your image completely um completely on the fly at runtime right um so we will get the widget maybe before adding to the viewport we do this loading and then we add it to the viewport and such right so this will actually not um not not cause any problems in terms of uh, preloading and you will load it on the fly the problem of this technique is unfortunately that you have uh, um to remove the picture and so the artist that is working on the widget will have to put it in and out and it's not really it's not really handy right uh, unfortunately it's not it's not the best way but it's one way and it's showing anyway the technique of loading on the fly the second way which is a much better way that i learned just after uh, i published the video and this is why i'm republishing it with uh, with the updated information is this so if you use this async load class assets uh, this is actually creating as you can see here from the pin a soft class reference so a soft class reference means that you want it to be loaded uh, only at the right time you don't want it to preload it so this will so a real engine will not preload it. and so you can call your widget and you can name your widget here and this will become a class you cast it to the user widget or if you want now here i added the um, diaboli but it's just another ui but it's the same if you want you can cast it to your uh, specific widget right uh, instead of generic user widget this, this would be pretty much the same right um 
And then you create a widget, you add it to the viewport and, uh, and do whatever you need to do, right? So this is a much better technique because allows you to keep the widget uh, in shape. So with a, with a reference texture in it and with any other animation that you need and any other pictures. And for example, in my case, I have certain uh, uh, UI where I have actually multiple pictures, right? Uh, in the same widget, so it's much easier to do it this way. And with this async loading, the picture will not be... The whole widget, including the, the texture that it contains, uh, will not be preloaded, right? And also, when it is removed from the parent, it will be also uh, garbage collected and removed from memory. Uh, so I hope that was clear enough. So basically to summarize two techniques, one where you explicitly do image by image and maybe in certain cases, if you create the image on the fly, it will be uh, possible or one where you flag the whole widget as, um, as a soft class reference. Okay, so thank you for watching. Bye bye.